level. Turner lifts a fly ball to left field. That ball's way back there, and he got just enough. Just enough to get it out of here for a two-run home run. 18 for Turner, and a 2 nothing lead for the Dallas. Bat is offline. Slicing drive, left center, LaCastro back. There it goes! Turner and Bellinger back-to-back, -back, and it's 3 nothing in the first. He last pitched on July 31st. Six out of innings at Coors Field, and he brings in the best earned run average in baseball to 153. Gets a chase, foot and a half off of the plate. His first strikeout of the game, and Flores the first out. Ground ball base hit center field to make it 4 0. Jack Peterson with a two out RBI single, scoring Christopher Negron. It is not about exit. 2 2 from Ryu. A curve falls out of the sky to get him one gone. Fly ball to left field. LaCastro back. Track. Wall. Down. Third home run of the day for the Dodgers. Belongs to Will Smith. 22 games in the majors. 22 RBIs. How about a base hit to center field for Hunjin Ryu? Who didn't? High fly ball. Has Turner done it again? His second of the afternoon. They lead it by a touchdown and an extra point on the fourth. Should be deep enough to bring home Ballinger. Jones makes the catch. Smith is driven in another. Third RBI of the day, 23rd in 22 major league games. He strikes him out. Hunjin Ryu right back in the saddle. Seven shutout innings and an 8 nothing lead as we scratch. Garcia rolls it to short, and that will be a double play. But a run scores, and it's 9-1. Did you enjoy teeing off today? It seems like everybody in the starting lineup was able to uh, get to Mike Leak early. Uh, yeah, you know, I felt good in the box, made a couple adjustments, hadn't had a very good series so far leading into today, and uh, felt good to, to get on the board. You didn't need much today as far as offense was concerned because Shenzhen Ryu didn't seem to have skipped a beat on the IL. What would you see from him? Yeah, just Hunjin doing Hunjin things, changing speeds, uh, using all his pitches. Uh, pitching in, pitching out, getting the ball on the ground when he needed to, and he's like Houdini, man. He gets in trouble, and he always finds a way to escape, and uh, it's fun to play defense behind him. Yesterday, we joked about having been intentionally walked to get to Christopher Negron. He capitalizes today. You don't get intentionally walked. Belly's behind you, and back-to-back -back jacks. How nice is it to have that protection behind you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like I'm protected no matter who's hitting behind us, especially with this lineup. We're so deep, but uh, you know, it's good to get in there and get a couple of sliders that leak back over the middle of the plate and uh, put good swings on them. As the glue to this team that Dave Roberts calls you the captain of this club, how pleased are you with the way that you guys handled this series, knowing you still have such a big lead in the division, but you're not taking anything for granted? No, you know, there's still a lot to play for. We're, we're trying to win home field advantage throughout the playoffs, and a lot of guys are, you know, trying to uh, continue to get hits and perform and, uh, and do well. So. Uh, even though we have that lead, it doesn't matter. We're still showing up to the field every day trying to win ball games. And uh, the more games we win, that means the more success for everyone individually. Enjoy your rare night off in Los Angeles. We'll see you in Miami. Thanks, JT. See you in Miami. All right, guys. Uh, it was very impressive, as you said. He didn't skip. He didn't uh, skip a beat. He was just kept going and um, he's got such a good pulse and just the ability to keep making pitches, repeat his delivery and I thought the cutter was really good today. Uh, the change up was there, curveball um, was sharp 
and um, changing eye levels. So he did everything that he needed to do, and it's a good hitting club over there and kept him off balance. So it was good to see. Have you seen anybody with a pulse like him? No. Yeah, yeah, he does, and, and he, he lows his sleep and then um, gets in on you with the, with the cut fastball. But then when he starts to smell the finish line, he can reach back for more. Um, when there's stress, he can reach back for more. Um, but, yeah, to not pitch, to miss a start, to come out there, give us seven innings was, was good to see. How were you guys able to get to leave so early? Um, I, I think it was just more of having a good plan. I thought we did collectively. Um, seeing the baseball up and uh, you just you saw what JT did uh, Will Smith obviously uh, Cody stayed through the baseball and used the big part of the field so I just think overall you know when you're not chasing off Mike's a guy that cuts it sinks it changes it and so if you just stay to the big part of the field then you got a good chance so in this series your starters 20 innings 12 hits no runs where do you think the starting staff is at this point, you know, as you're going down to the last, you know, eight weeks, six weeks, seven weeks of the season? Um, we're, we're in a great spot. Uh, obviously with those three guys in particular and, and Kenta coming off a really good one, the one, you know, as good as he's had in, you know, four or five starts. Uh, those guys to continue to attack, throw up zeros, and, and offensively for us to get leads, allowing for them to keep going deeper into games. But uh, this is good, good of a group as, as a starting staff as, as we've had here. That's right. Uh, Dave, what, what's Hill's status? Do you expect to see him again at all this year? Yeah, yeah, we, we expect to have Rich back. Uh, to what extent, that remains to be seen. Um, but I think that if you're looking at the calendar and how much time we have, it's more of, Build them up, get them healthy, uh, and build them up in some reliever capacity. Because to kind of be so optimistic that we can build them up, you know, as a starter, you know, 100 pitches, I just don't see that's that's uh, feasible.